we are in. All right, That's what we she's... are live. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> Way to start! Way to start Whoa! the stream. Whoa! At least it wasn't me this time. Yeah, no, we're going. Well, oh, we're four, four people in. Five, five. five. Damn! Wow. Oh my God! Look at that, and the thing, the graphics pop up. Look at that! Yeah. All, All right, so we did Alien Day earlier. That was a smash hit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. It, it was for the people who played. I mean, yeah, the people we who gave away up. like two hundred dollars worth of stuff. We were just, yeah, you know, we were like an infomercial. Right. We had shirts yeah, and stickers. People got all kinds. They of were stuff. four. Yeah. They were you know four easy payments. We slashed it to one. I mean, we were mm. all over there. So That's one easy payment of nine ninety nine. Today is Bring Your Child to Work Day. So my son Logan is going to be here with us for the first one. Say hi. Hi. All right, so we are going to do some Diamond Select Ghostbuster Seer, well, Ghostbusters 2 figures. So, yeah, go ahead and move that right out of the way. No uh, big David deal. Says how, David says howdy that. from Wisconsin. Dave, what's up, man? Howdy. Hey, Dave. Okay, all right, stop touching. <laughs> all right. I like your slime Yes, so. Can I touch it? Go ahead, touch it. Why don't you play with Slimer? Slimer actually has a butt. Yeah. That's, that's great. Okay, so Diamond Select makes the absolute best... Hey, Daddy, can I play with Jack Iocho? No. no. Mm -hmm. Okay, Diamond Select makes the absolute best Ghostbuster figures on the market right now. We're going to see when Mezco's come out, but right now these are soup to nuts the coolest. I've got all the Maddie Selects. I've got... Uh, the old school, some of the old school Kenners, these ones are just knockout amazing. Accessories, everything across the board. So, that's okay. so um, we're going to get into this, uh, but before we do, I always like to ask Bob a question. So, oh, okay. there's four <laughs> of us here. Right. If each of us had to represent a Ghostbuster, who, who oh, are each of us? God. Well, is Evan, is, Evan is clearly Lewis Tully. Oh, I see. I was going to make him be Winston. He's the rookie Ghostbuster. Because he's like, not, what, like we're all you know, scientists uh, and qualified. Sense. Oh, yeah. And Winston, he's, you know. I was encompassing Ghostbusters 2 yeah. into this. Okay. Um, you you know what? He is, he's very Lewis Tully. I've never identified with any of the Ghostbusters. Uh, you would be Egon from the oh, knowledge. Really? Yeah, from a knowledge oh, perspective. From a knowledge perspective. Egon. No, you're Ray Stance. You're the heart of the Ghostbusters. I love, I love Egon. Okay. You're not okay. even looking at the camera now. Okay. So, uh, for the ease of moving forward here, oh, Matt says hi, so Hello, you're back. All right, so um, we're going to do another giveaway later, not yet. Uh, we're going to show it. Speaking of, this one hurts. No more Harold Ramis. Um, but that is one of the coolest uh, Harold Ramis figures. I, I have the courtroom Egon, which is yeah. the last Maddie collector uh, Ghostbusters that they made, mm -hmm. which I was glad because they right. finished off the right. courtroom run. Um, but I still like this one better, right? Hands down. So right. uh, we're gonna crank into this. So which one do you want to open first? Actually, before which, how oh. how excited are you for the Mezcos? The Mezco Ghostbusters. When, uh, we, when we sent you that photo of them, how excited? No, are you? I, I'm 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 very excited, and it's because I love Mezco and I love Ghostbusters. <laughs> they look amazing. Um, but those are also $300 for four figures, whereas these are $25. And the thing is, is you'll see, if you haven't already gotten or did the rooftop diorama, which we're going to once do here one day, yeah, we're going to build the enormous. whole thing. It is amazing. And this lets you build the, if you cut to the, cut to the second, mm. this lets you build the whole front facade of the Ghostbusters firehouse, which between the rooftop scene and and this, it's every Ghostbusters slimy dream. Yeah. It, if anybody has any customs of Ghostbuster headquarters that they've built on their own for this size of figure, I know that originally, what was it, Kenner? Yeah, Kenner's were, Kenner's. I guess they were four inch or something like that. Yeah, I'd say they're a little bit bigger than that. Almost Maybe five. five yeah, five, five inch. inch. I mean, okay. but these are... I'd say these are what seven, eight inches tall. Some of these. I'm looking at Bigo. He's pretty tall. Um, so if you've made if you've made your own Ghostbusters 
headquarters in this size, the firehouse. Let us see it. I mean, yeah, we'd love to see a picture center. of that. Uh, Matthew, uh, the, the the nice guy that he is, and it's only because Evan sends him stuff. Yeah. Says, <laughs> uh, Evan is Bankman. He's more like a game show host than a scientist. So. Oh, you oh. clearly don't know Evan. You have Thank fans. you, Matthew. <laughs> right. He's a game show host because he doesn't actually know the answers. He's given the answers. Yes. <laughs> But and, I look and, like and I has, know the answers. Has, I look like I know the answers. And he has questionable morals. Oh. So, oh. All right. Um, we are going to uh, open up. Who, which one do you want to open? I think we'll save him. But Vigo? You want, you, want to go, you want to open? Vigo, Vigo? first. we got to save Lewis Tully all right. for Ray for the second round at least. So just opening this hurts me because I don't open any of my figures. But just to get to this, the we're back. Because this is such a hilarious joke. Because it's not like it's ghost. Like, in their own world, they're mm-hmm. saying, we're, we're back, back, part two. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? So the joke is just there from the beginning. That was, and I know Ghostbusters is like the holiest of holies for you. Yeah. But it annoyed the hell out of me when I was a kid. Why was the two on the patch? I just couldn't understand. I couldn't understand if it was the peace sign for whatever reason. No, it's, I'm telling but you. But I hated that when I saw the movie. That I had to see too, it's, and because it's it's it was a goof, you know. I mean, uh, that to me, I I always took it as that it was a goof. Where's and, the knife? Oh, it's knife? Uh, right here. Uh, Ghostbusters two also had another sore spot for me. Uh, that was a great summer, the summer of eighty nine. But I was supposed to, I was supposed to see Batman for the third time, and the theater that I went to. Uh, it didn't get the print, and they had to show Ghostbusters 2, and I was so disappointed. So, so you're taking so it. was a sour... No, I actually... I like Ghostbusters 2 now. I've gone back, and I've watched it again, and I got it on Blu-ray, and I really appreciate what they were trying to do with, I think, everything that was just being thrown at the creative well, forces behind it. Yeah, the the, uh, uh, you know, the story goes that they were forced to make a sequel in right. order for a lot of them to do other projects that they wanted, and they had a much bigger budget, and they really wanted them right. to go over the top. And right. if... Walking down, walking through the city of Manhattan with the Empire, or not the, the, Statue, the of Statue of Liberty, Wasn't isn't enough. big enough for you. I don't know what is. So I'm sorry. I'm I mean, take... they didn't even pat her feet. No, they did not even pat her feet. I mean, they don't make Nikes in what? Size 120 or uh, whatever it is. Matthew said hashtag Team Evan. Yeah, I love, oh, I love that Evan. there's a hashtag for you now. Yep. Unbelievable. That's like Team... See, only the best of the best get hashtag. The vampire or whatever that was from so many years ago that nobody cares about Edward. anymore. Yeah. Team Edward and Team Wolf or whatever Oh, God, you're Team Edward? Oh. oh. What was the other team one? Team Evan. What was the other one? Team Rupert. No. Uh, wow. All right, I mean, these are really... We'll, we'll get to this in a second. Yeah. I'm um, actually uh, Ray here, who's sitting on the desk, is the only one I've actually ever like. Oh, they're handled. You know, they are. I mean, if you if you want to flip Ray around and go to the close shot, just check out the detail on that pack. I mean, so uh, Josh Wagner says hashtag Team Evan, but Raul says hashtag Team Bob. Ooh, Duh. look at that! <laughs> I'm glad that I'm out of your guys' little spat. I I don't even know this like, spat, I like but I'm, I'm all for it because I'll because I'll Let's win. Go. Let's I'll go. win. All let's right. Make, let's make some uh, drama. What, what did we call the twist ties? The terrible ties? Yeah. You know, something like that. We were coming up with a, a name for the for the twist ties. The Evans? I don't no, <laughs> no, because these we can just Fair cut away. Point. Evans like a boil he can't get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. All right. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm back. Oh, you're back. All right. Um. D- yeah. All right, guys. They did a Vigo in the Maddie Collector series. This is unbelievable. So you like this one immediately better? Well, yeah, because, I mean, just take a look at the outfit, and if you pick it up, Bob, and you take a look at the front, when he comes out of the painting in the first movie, Mm -hmm. or in the second movie, I'm sorry, um, you know, what kind of bonehead would pick New York City and not the the sunny San Fernando Valley? Exactly. with that being said, you can see that that, like, matches... Yeah, Carpathian! Yeah. That (laughs) matches... Melon head, sorry. That match is spot on with the outfit. That is the leather kind of. I don't know what you call that. A tunic. I don't yeah, know, like, it's, it's like tunic. Like it's like it's like leather armor. You know. You know that kind of thing. All right. I mean, they tried to kill wide. this guy seventeen ways. Go <laughs> wide. Uh, Josh Wagner says hi guys. Love the Slimer. And David says uh, singing in Transformers theme. <coughs> Ghostbusters <laughs> fighters of the ectoplasm. <laughs> no. Just, he lost a hand. 
What his, did you do? You broke his hand? Uh, no, his hand popped off. I'm trying to bend his uh, trying to bend his joint, and we lost his hand. But we found it, and it didn't break. It's just whoop, okay. Back in. So I like to pose my figures. I like to give them some sort of character when I pose them, and he's. He's rough. He's very yeah, he's sturdy. Tight. He's, he's tight. Stur- he's sturdy. Now, granted, he's just supposed to be a painting. But, uh, yeah, if you ever want to read some very weird, tragic, horrific, scra- crazy things, read read about the uh, actor that well, played on, Vigo. Come so, on come on in, Logan, things. and say goodbye to everybody. All right, Logan is heading off, but he wants to say goodbye. Bye. Yeah, come on. Bye, junkies. Bye, junkies. See you later. See you later, old chap. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, Logan. All right. So can we get him to stand here? He's 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 solid. Yeah, you got to really plant him. He's a brute of a figure, and the details here in the back. I mean, we've got little straps. And I'll put them up here, Evan. Um, we've got the straps here in the back for the belts. Really nice. Um, I I could see. Uh, you know, I, I hate saying a diamond, but I could see you customizing this guy. Into a, a wicked Game of Thrones figure. Yeah. If you really yeah. wanted to do you something do with it, you could do a serious Ned Stark. With yeah, the, exactly. The thing that I am most excited about with the series so far is they are going to do the I Ray MV. Yeah, belt, yeah, exactly. I thought is, that's what this one was going yeah. to be when, but uh, Re, uh, Vigo Ray. Yeah, Vigo, Vigo Ray, Ray um, the weak-minded. Uh, maybe he's a little. Maybe Evans a little Rayish. Uh, <laughs> um, but here's here's that was really Ray. that wasn't you. That, we were doing Ray looking at the painting. Here's no. really the cool stuff is, I mean, for you get fifteen of these, okay. Not only do you walk away with bring it back a little bit. Yeah, sorry. Not only do you walk away with fifteen really amazing figures, you're gonna walk away with the front facade to the firehouse. And I gotta be honest, I would pay ten or fifteen bucks. Just, just for, that, for the yeah. sign. And the sign's and it's, cool. And it's not even like a flat version of the sign. If you can mm-hmm. see, it's very like yeah. 3D animated yeah. where the hand is yeah. popping yeah. out. This isn't that just, is epic. It, it could have been just a, a straight piece of plastic double sided. Yeah. That would have been yeah. fine. But this really does. It has a little uh, plastic uh, chains on it. And it, it, you know, it could actually, this moves. You can actually rotate this oh, wow. nice. on here. So you're getting that full effect of the. Uh, of the sign, but again, I, I can't stand the fact that they even remade the sign into a two. Yeah. Why did they? Why did they do that? Would, would this would this been the patch on three? If we ever really would have gotten a can third we not movie, talk, can we not talk about? We're, three? Don't, 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 don't we're not going to go. Not, there. We're not going to go. Don't hurt, hurt him, Kristen Wiig. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, no, please. Um, All right, uh, uh, Reese was asking, uh, are you guys going to Philly Comic Con this week? Yeah, we'll be there Saturday. Yeah, we'll be there Saturday. Saturday, Reese. So you know, you want to come meet you know the super uh, famous Bob and MJ, yeah. and Evan will be there holding. I mean, hey, we're, Team Evan is strong. We're tough. Too on, strong. We're tough on wearing shirts, so you you know, like I was yeah. gonna wear my cool guy Zuvio shirt, but it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. A, I'm probably gonna wear Zuvio. Yeah, look for us. You know, we'll we'll be there. And, look uh, for the giant red. <laughs> Oh, you Black wear, shirt yeah, with the giant yeah, red right, 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 right. 09 on the shirt. Um, yeah. All right. Well, let's. Um, uh, David said he pre-ordered the Mezco Ghostbusters set. I need the diorama parts for a build. Yeah, it's it's. Oh, these I, are great. I'm already. I, I'm already getting like this is. I just like that you get all these pieces. I'm guessing, based on the piece, the, if it's yellow, it'll get covered. I believe. Well, it, what I'm. I'm see if I can get him off with the. Get him out. Um, what it looks like to me is that there is a base, that there is a bottom yes. piece. So this isn't just something that you set down like this. It actually has an interlocking piece that will be the bottom. So I actually think we have a door in here. There's so a this, door in there this too? This is probably okay. the front. So this is like – we get our action figures and sometimes we have to make do and you know our creative levels are all different. What's the chance? I mean I've and got – this is cool because I've got the Hot Wheels, I think 112, like Ecto-1. Imagine if Diamond Select gave us, you know, because now you're going to be able to do the front, well, yeah. you know, yeah, brakes, brake pads, yeah. uh, you know, the whole deal. It's, um, it's, I think that we're at a point in collecting and with action figures that if you make enough of them, and clearly, look, we had a Castle Grey skull. We just did the sail barge yeah. for Star Wars. I think that if Diamond Select came out and I did like, the same thing, rolled the dice and said, you're going to get a uh, fire, uh, Ghostbusters firehouse. I think there would be enough people to do it. I think enough guys, people would find it. You guys never did the smell test. It, oh. He's a he's subtle. Yeah, he's a little light. And, and you know what? This is like a rubbery 
this top of the tunic here, Where's and it? so's this. Unlike uh, what figure do we just have that was a hard plastic? Oh, it was uh, it was Henrietta from yeah. the Evil Dead. Yeah. That was a hard plastic. It, it's it sounds or it smells like he sits on a throne of blood. I don't throne know. of slime. A throne of slime. Yeah, no, he's tight. I know what that is. That's what I was gonna say. It's there he's a go. very very tight figure. Yeah. Also, if, if you look at them in between his eyebrows, he's got is that. that a, is that a mm. mess up in the paint? He's almost got like the thriller. Um, you think that his eyebrows are messed up? Like, like right, right there. He's got a. He's slight, got a slight crack. In yeah, his but forehead. he's he's kind of got a dirty face. I'm not okay. I'm not hundred percent. I was just asking. No, it's it's a good question to ask, Evan. Um, let's show. Let's can we zoom in on the face yeah, here? It. Um, it looks like there's a little ridge under his nose, and I can't tell if that's just some sort of character line or if it's actually a little bit of ink. And then put him right where the two is. Right here. And also the, um, I, I'm not a hundred percent happy with the neck. I think that the hair, it's cool that it rests on the back, but if you go to move his neck to look down, the hair is standing straight up. Well, the they, back. he he was hung and quartered. Right. So th while you're opening that, this is this is one of the things that I love to do. Is I love to brag that I've actually seen uh, one of the Vigo paintings. Really? Yes. I went to uh, Lucasfilm on a tour, and they actually have it in one of the hallways in, in, the, in the Presidio. It's, uh, it's in the private area that you can't see. You didn't um, stare at it too closely. I, I didn't want to stare too long, but there's so much in there that you're just like, oh, there's the Rocketeer, and then there's the, uh, the Blue Fairy from AI, and there's just so much in that hallway slash stairwell that you're like, oh, oh I like the Vigo, go. Like, and there he is. <laughs> and it's, it's enormous. It's a really big painting. I'd like to point out that I don't know if maybe it's just because these are newer compared to the Ghostbuster uh, or the other Diamond Select figures that we've opened, but the this part opened a lot yeah, easier, yeah. and this came apart in a way where you could totally put this back together, yeah. you know, you're and right. get that up on your on your shelf. So um, I think we talked about this last time. You have something. To, you have I was gonna say James just bought his first uh, three point three point seven five uh, Han Solo movie figures. Oh okay. Oh nice, yeah. nice. I'm I'm holding out on the uh, three seven fives. I uh, I'm a big I'm the Star Wars guy here, and I haven't bought a Star Wars figure since Rogue One. I didn't buy any of the Last Jedi's in the three seven five. However, in Black Series, as you can see from some of our shows yeah, here, you work this the out Black Series second. are. That's. I think that's my new collecting thing. I have enough of the older generation uh, of figures that I think I'm just going to be good with the Black Series from this you point on. You don't want Lando? Evan, um, you don't want the new Lando? But see, that's the thing. The old figures, characters that happened before The Force Awakens, I think in those figures, I can make that cheap. Yeah. Because the Stormtroopers, all of that is like the same generation of things between The Clone Wars and Return of the Jedi. Okay, so as a Ghostbusters fan, I pull this out. The first thing I want to see is, is there a secondary door in the garage door? Because of the classic Lewis Tully getting himself caught going back and forth. And right there, that's, that's, the, that's the money shot. That's nice. And okay. it's, it's, got a, it's got a joint. It's just not a door that just pops off. Yep. Um, there's a lot of screws here in the back. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah. You can, they, they, they give you all of the accessories. I'm sure there's a booklet that shows you how it goes together. But, you know, it's got a little nice doorknob, the whole deal. I think... Can we actually build? Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, so this is... Well, well why don't you... I'll, I'll work this out. Oh, look at this. Okay, so, again, this is a $25 price point, okay? I, I get $20 toys all the time from my son. If you can see, am I, Evan, where am I at? Am I good here? If you can see, so that you don't break the peg, there's actually a little sliding Ooh, nice. so that it can pop right in. Diamond oh, Select, yeah. my, I salute you. You can okay. see that here, here, All and right. then here, and then let's flip it so you can see, like, see, here's where the, here's where the, the yeah. actual little peg can fit into. That it's all going to fit into that so piece. So we're gonna, we're gonna awesome. go ahead. He is, is untwisted. Once it's locked, it's locked. He's in there. All right, we're gonna do this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like a glove. Like a good neighbor. <laughs> Evan is there. Oh, that was sweet. I know. That was almost sweet. Yeah, if I cared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there definitely is a base. Yeah, there's a base. Oh, there, yeah, there's there. gotta be some. But it's like, look, we've got. Oh two, wait a second. Is, is it upside down? No, no, this, this would be on the street. Yeah, this would definitely um, We've be got two pieces already, and already we've got, you know, 
something to take pictures of for Instagram, and we're already getting little pieces and corners. And yeah, I mean, we you know, could, we're building we're building a world here. We could almost have a little that's diorama awesome. photo shoot to go with this yeah. amazing video yeah. that we're going to put what? out and tag Diamond yeah. Select. Oh, what? Yeah. what are you yeah. talking about? Yeah. All right. Um, so let's let's do a let's do a big so shot this, here. Uh, Raul says, "Okay, I need these." Yeah, these are great. These are awesome, Raul. You gotta show the face on on Ray. Let's do I a mean, that's, Ray. That is, you know, he's as they say, he's the heart of the Ghostbusters. You know, who has three no, mortgages no, nowadays? Ray Put stands because right he believes in it. You know, and that's Perfect. that smile. That, you know, he genuinely loves what he does. That doesn't feel a little bit of a creep, like a creepy smile to you? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, the guy's into, you know, well, no, it's, it's Egon who it's, collects spores, mung, uh, spores, spores, spores molds, molds, and, and fungus. fungus. Yeah, but as creepy as that smile is, have you ever seen his wife, Donna Dixon? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. All right, so let's pop. Oh, you still got to do the, he's still got the four. Now you get, uh. You get four sets of hands with this. Well, yeah, you get two, two un. Well, technically, you end up with three ungloved hands and two gloved hands. Which again, you're twenty five dollars into this thing. A door, a figure, a pack. It, that that would be my only downside to Vigo because we didn't really get anything. You with know, Vigo. V, well, you got a lot of we did a lot get the of plastic. Sign. Okay, we got. Let's say they did level out. Yeah. With the Vigo sign. Okay, so Vigo got us. Vigo came with a sign. So. I mean, what, what accessories would you give Vigo? Slime? No, I would have given him. I probably would have done the backdrop to the painting. Ooh, you know, without yeah. him. Yeah, there. actually, yeah, without him there. You know? That would have been good, too. Now, did another. This, there's more than one Vigo out there. Did the previous Vigo release come with that? The Maddie Collector Vigo oh. has a holographic. Uh, back with a stand that you could sit. So Ooh. it's like him stepping out of it. But. All right, so you get Ray, you get the pack. You, you're having a, a you're you're little hands problem today. Well, it's this, as I went ooh earlier, um, the joints for the elbows are actually hidden underneath rubber arm pads. Yeah. So you can actually move the arm pads around, and it kind of makes it a little tough to move it at first, but once you notice that, it works. Now, despite not liking the two on the patch, <laughs> I did like the fact that they had different colored uniforms. The black uniforms? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it's on my, uh, it's so on my Halloween wish list this check, year. Go ahead and uh, set that up. So, again... Did not, anybody else come with the streams? Uh, they all do. Okay. They all have at least so one. across the streams. Yeah. yeah. This is actually on my, uh, my Halloween uh, wish list this year, is that I may do... Um, I may do Dancing Peter from Ghostbusters. The yes, I might do that Peter. I love that um, uh, for Ghostbusters uh, for Halloween this year at a friend's party. Who's a big Ghostbusters nut? So I actually have a Ghostbusters two flight suit in my size. It is epic. Stephanie had to go add extra fabric around the uh, downstairs area, but I got. I, uh, it's nice. I got the boots. I have the whole thing. So come on now. All right, Whew. just just leave it in the close up because I want to yeah. I want to point out that now you've got Ray. I love the blue that just goes around the, the stream way. to Hi, really Calvin. to add that electricity to it. That's awesome. You've got an actual trap. Oh, oh, fix that. Sorry. Oh, you broke. We it. aren't using pegs here, folks. Yeah, you've we... got an actual trap. You get the classic walkie-talkie, which I believe fits. Does it fit in the front there? I don't see... Oh, yes, it does. There's a pouch on his belt, and you can put the walkie-talkie... What about the PKE? We got PKE in there? Uh, I got nothing that looks like that I can put the PKE on, but... He might go in his other hand. Don't worry, Robert. Not only does he not know who Donna Dixon is... He doesn't know what Spies Like Us is because he hasn't seen that either. <laughs> You've never seen Spies Like Us? No. Oh, my God. Is yeah. she in Dr. Detroit? Oh, yeah. I think she is, actually. Is, is she in Dr. Detroit? Which, by the way, just came out on Blu-ray. I know. Yeah. I have not seen that probably since the old days of cable. Um, remember the hashtag Ev cable. Team Evan when you think of Spies Like Us. Um, so you've got the trap. You've got the PKE. You've got two more sets of hands, which I think there's a better set of hands for that, but I think what you've done is perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working it. Two gloves. <laughs> and it. so this this I absolutely love because um, 
you know, I, I, I had to fight my wife a little bit, but then she, she relented this, this Christmas season. That Ghostbusters 2, even though it is pre- predominantly uh, a New Year's movie, it's a, ho- it's a, it's it's a, a Christmas movie. movie. Yeah, it's a Christmas it's movie. It's a Christmas movie. You could bridge the gap after Christmas and watch it in between. So giving him that's awesome. the hat that's really, is amazing. That's really cool. Now, uh, one of my favorite things and one of the things that hurts the most with Toys R Us going away were the exclusives. We've oh, talked about this. We're talking about this one. Okay. But so there is a Ghostbusters 4-pack. How did that happen? I don't know. Exclusive. I think, I think the, the stream fell a little bit. That had, there were just literally, is the greatest Toys R Us ploy of all time. Mm-hmm. Four Ghostbusters and Slimer. The variant added cheap hats. I'm talking about oh, yeah. miniature Christmas oh. hats. That's the only difference to buy an extra $50 toy is less than 10 cents worth of fabric. And I have them both. And, and if I ever see one of them, I'll buy it if it's less than 40 bucks. I was all over the place looking for that exclusive for a buddy. And his, his girlfriend had contacted me and said, if you can find it, I can't get it anywhere. I can't even get Diamond to send it to me. Because she used to do reviews of toys and things. And she's like, I can't even get him to send it to me. They're gone. And then I looked everywhere and I finally had tracked one down and it was like, you know, hidden yeah. in the back. And I'm like, there it is, got the hats. Some place where Rick would bust the stash. Exactly, yeah. okay. exactly. I say, uh, why don't you do, let's do the giveaway. So All right, let's do the giveaway. We, we are going to give away a... Boom. Just tell me this character's full name. Who, me? Not, no, not the question? Uh, no, I'm, no, I'm asking Is that the question? No, that's not the no, question. That's it's not, not the question, question guys. Not the question. Uh, let's see. Name the universe. This is just some some quick. Wait, wait. Ghostbuster. I I, I knew it though. I know the name. Guys, these are not the questions. These are not the questions. Okay, but these are just for for Evan. Name the university that they work for before they're fired and and they start the Ghostbusters. That's a good question. Uh, I will I will allow you to name the real university if you can. Well, Columbia is the real. That's that's there very go. good. They don't, okay. they don't technically work for Columbia because Columbia didn't want them to put their name on the movie. And they probably regretted that after yeah. the movie came yeah, exactly. out. Not that they need anything, but all right. Let me see. I process got, of elimination. Yeah, very, I've got good. one more for New you. York colleges. What? This is just for me. Yes. This okay. Is just for yes. Evan. Okay. What is the manufacturer of the Ghostbusters Ecto One? What is the car brand that is the Ecto One? Now, I'm not even going to make you answer the year. Just the brand. What kind of car is it's it? It's a hearse, right? No, it is a it is a hearse, but what what's the brand that made the hearse? Doesn't say it. Doesn't say it. If you're a Ghostbusters fan, you know this. It is a Cadillac. I was going to guess Cadillac. It is a ca- uh, actually. I was going to guess it. Actually, it was, it's not a hearse. Much. It's a Cadillac you're the, ambulance. You're cleaning the toilets again no, today, it's not, it's not a hearse. It's a Cadillac <laughs> ambulance. And oh. it is one of those things where just the car alone, if it comes up anywhere within, because I think the years are, stop me if I'm wrong, I think it's the late 50s, like 58, 59. Um, they just, they're ridiculous. They're, you know, just the car because people convert them yeah. to Ecto-1s. Oh, yeah, I've seen, uh, I mean, if, if you go to RetroCon in uh, uh, the greater, uh, it's where, the same place where the greater Philadelphia Con is this weekend, RetroCon, they have ghost, like two or three Ghostbuster groups, and there's usually two or three hearses oh, yeah. outside, if not one inside. So and they have their own patch and everything. It's it's a great it's a great club. There's, there's a couple comments. Actually, read the question and then I'll read some comments. Okay, um, the question is: since it's a uh, it's Harold Ramis's figure, what movie did Harold Ramis star in with Bill Murray before Ghostbusters? What movie did the two of them star in together before Ghostbusters? I think I actually might know the answer to this. You don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Josh Wagner says, Team Evan, I'm 35 years old and I've never seen Spies Like Us, us or I don't remember it. And uh, Rick Edenburn says, uh, because of this I will be getting my first Ghostbusters figures. Nice. I've been mainly a Star Wars, I've been mainly a Star Wars for so long, these are great. Rick, we're going to share that with Diamond Select. Yes, Thanks so much. we're going to share that, yes. Uh, <coughs> just says, lol, I think, to me getting the Cadillac wrong. Huh? Not guessing that. And Rick knew it was a Cadillac. 
Can you name, again, we're waiting for the movie that Harold Ramis and Bill Murray, it also has a really cool uh, epic vehicle that they oh, drive yeah. in oh, as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, what, who is the name of the receptionist? I will take either her name or her name in real life. Oh, that's easy. <sighs> Janine Annie Potts. Oh, you're talking about Ghostbusters. Yes! And Sorry. Robert, oh. Robert Lin- Linder, you are the winner. Strikes. I knew that one. I actually knew that. You did Robert, that. real quick, what is, if, if you can give me the name <laughs> of the vehicle that they drive, we'll throw in a, something extra. Second, round, round two of questions, you get a t-shirt, name it, we're going to give you a chance to win two or anybody else. Look it up. What is the vehicle name? I was about. I was gonna go like. Yeah, but I wasn't sure enough of it. I knew that one. Did we get a winner on this? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, Rick got Robert, it. Uh, Robert. Robert got no, it. No, yeah, yeah. Rob Linder got it. Yep. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, the the first series of these are great. You've got all four characters. They also did. Uh, Marshmallow exclusives of almost all the characters. Okay. What does that oh, mean? Uh, that means they were covered with marshmallows. So oh, yeah. 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 Now, being that you're the collector of these, was it the right ratio as they were to the end of the film? Yeah, it was pretty. It was actually Whereas pretty accurate. In, like uh, Bill Murray hardly had any. Yeah, no, it was it was, it was fairly movie accurate. Okay. I have to say. Did they ever make Lewis Tully with the dog head? No. And the crazy hair. No. Uh, oh. uh, the only diamond. This there you is go. your first <laughs> Lewis Tully. Um, but Maddie Collector did a Lewis Tully with the dog head oh, okay. and the uh, metal hat. From, oh yeah, the uh, the brain from the picking thing. up yeah. or dropping off. I saw a cosplayer of that once. This was like two thousand like five, and I just I lost it. He, he was fantastic. I mean, it was just great. He had the whole thing on the outfit, the shirt, the whole bit. He nailed it. So uh, we're gonna crank into Lewis Tully. So a couple things that I love about this figure straight off. Uh, and the, ooh, wow! Just wow, wow! That was that beautiful. Came right off. Um, you think you'd open a bunch of these? Yeah, you right. Th- you think you've like become a pro at this? I love the. So in the movie, he ends up at the end, you know, feeling like he has to help his friends. So as they're heading over to the library to try to save uh, Oscar, um, he gears up for the first time. And gets on a bus ride with no other than Slimer, who okay. drives him to the uh, museum. Right now, I said library the first time. Museum, sorry. It's museum. Um, he wears Spengler's uh, jumpsuit, okay. which I think is a great kind of reference to in the first movie. J- uh, Annie Potts or Janine kind of has, has a love affair oh, with Egon, yeah, yeah. whereas in this movie mm. they switch her over to. Uh, Lewis, Lewis, so I always thought that was a fun little nod from the okay. film. Um, and my favorite scene is, you know, the Ghostbusters have gotten into the museum, they've done everything that they have to do, and he's just outside firing away. Yeah. And Because <laughs> it's and, that hard shell over yeah. the museum. And uh, there's always room for Jello. Yeah. Um, but at, <laughs> at do, you the, to hand, do you want to hand me the thing so I can get on the size? Hmm. It is a it is a nineteen seventy six GMC motorhome. <laughs> it is the APC. It actually has a, a, a number to it as well. Um, but but does, uh, did, who got it? Well, right now Bill Rhodes is the closest. Uh, but yeah, so we're look how big that is. We're gonna have to bug diamond. We're gonna need. We're gonna, need ASAP. All, we're gonna need all the rest of the pieces. ASAP. Can, I have, can you just cut that? Because that's twisted. Yeah. Sure. Look at that. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Oh, so my favorite part is after they finally de- defeat Vigo and the shell starts pulling away. Mm-hmm. He's up front and he just starts saying to himself, "I did it! I did it!" And he had yeah. nothing to <laughs> nothing do. Nothing to do with it. Yeah, that is. That's well, I tight. think in some right? ways. I was just gonna say cut it. I was gonna say in some ways Lewis did because he was sharing in. The love fest that yeah. was the end of the movie, and he was there, no matter what the danger was, to help the guys. So I think that he did help out. Yeah. So well, I, I, I see it at the love fest at what it was. Okay, this is actually. So 
Evan, because it's fun to ask you questions that I know you don't know the answers to. Where does Lewis Tully live? Oh my god, you said it. You said it the other day. I mean, you can just kind of give me the, the street address. You don't have to name the building, which is a real building, EM50, by the way. EM50, Roberto, you are the winner. Woohoo! I have no idea. I don't remember. I don't want to sound stupid. Central Park West. Central yeah. Park West. No, I wouldn't have gotten it. Yeah. Uh, Central Park West. Is it what's, what's the other movie that... Spook Central. Spook Central. <laughs> What that's uh, that that building's in another movie, and I wish I could remember what it was. Wow, well, they did not. Too. They actually did not mess around with this. Well, I one. I think sometimes this is funny, like how much effort they put into protecting it so it doesn't get shoplifted. Yeah, because you got to think the guy at the comic book store is probably going to be watching anybody <laughs> in his store like a hawk. Yeah, you're not figure <laughs> swapping this one. No, you're not. And if anything, Hasbro should be taking a cue from these guys because yeah. man. Figure swapping is running rampant. And some of the stuff is stupid. Like, we're seeing some weird exchanges. Like, we saw a, a Thanos build a figure exchange for the Thanos Walmart exclusive. You're like, yeah, why like, would you why have done would you that? Even do that? My favorite one was from like two years ago. We had a swamp thing inside a Marvel pack. And we had guys who were like, you gotta go back and buy it. That yeah, swamp it was, thing's it worth like 80 thing. bucks. Like, you gotta yeah. go back and get the swamp thing. Mm hmm. Oh wow, we are really slow we're, here. We are. So, do you have any other fun questions for us? Um, overall, as a as a Ghostbusters collector, so you, how many of these do you have? I have two of each of the first uh, series. Two of each, one to open and one to play with. One, yep, exactly. Wow. One now there is uh, there's a person on Instagram called Man of Action Figures. Shout out. We'll we'll mm -hmm. tag him later. Who I was able to get the whole first run of 15 that he, he for Black Friday this year, I got all of the first 15 with his Black Friday sale. I paid less than $10 a figure. It was like wow, eight something a figure. Nice. And they got shipped in this gigantic that's box. Nice. Um, and, you know, I've just been literally waiting for us to, you know, have an excuse to open these suckers. Why don't you? Well, speaking of which, we're going to celebrate Ghostbusters Day on June 8th. So we're going to do a special day where we unbox things, uh, Ghostbusters. We'll do some more giveaways. We have a couple more of these guys floating around. Uh, but June 8th, we're going to observe Ghostbusters Day. We're observing. Observing. We're going to participate. We're going to make it Ghostbusters Day. I mean, today is Alien Day and Pretzel Day. Is yeah. Pretzel Day? Today is Pretzel Day since 1982. What? There you go. I am so shy on bending these because... You got you just you know what the trick is you got to find where the join is yeah it's, and then oh, just bend up here it is from there. I'm just I'm kind of scared because I don't want to break it especially on camera okay so a <laughs> uh, couple other uh, facts that Evan won't know um, Slimer in oh. the first movie yes it was modeled after what deceased SNL cast member you give away too much yes man I could basically give him I could probably give him the initials. And he wouldn't get it. This is true. Oh, I love it. Every, does everybody come with the yeah, walkie talkie? It's great. I, see, when you get in the opening these, you're kind of like, for 25 bucks, how do you yeah, not like, buy like I don't you, know. John Belushi. I guess that. Have you okay. seen Blues Brothers? No. <sighs> Evan, I have seen Blues Brothers. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's more than okay. It's okay. Oh, it's Carrie Fisher? Yeah, I know, but... It's just, I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. Hold on, Matt, I gotcha. Uh, and I've seen it, uh, I think, twice in the theater. I own the, the Blu-ray, and I'm like, I, I'm, I'm still trying to get why everybody loves this movie. What? So. Blues Brothers? Yeah. So there we go, there we have Lewis. The great Rick Moranis in all of his glory. And I gotta say, out of the three, I'm gonna jump it. He's my favorite of the three. So I'm, I'm really, really liking uh, what's done here. Now, What's can you, are, you, are we zoomed in? Yeah. Um, I love the fact that we put the earmuffs on him. You can't take them off, so this also keeps the glasses on. Yeah. And since now that he's an open figure, I'm all for that because the glasses are never going to get lost, and we're going to know who Lewis Tully is the entire time. But I'm at I'm at wits here. I did not open the hands, and I'm at wits trying to get. No, you, you're yeah, that's the best you're going to do. Yeah. All right, so for Matt, 
our uh, most epic viewer and uh, winner. We're going to do a quick... Uh, pretzel unboxing? Uts. Pretzel uh, day. Uh, yeah, pretzel day. Unboxing. Wow. Shout out. Do you want to you get that in the close-up real quick? You see you getting in there? There you go. Shout out to Uts on pretzel day. Here we go. Oh, wait. See, I love how this starts off good, but then all of a sudden it yeah, goes it's south. Going. It goes south so it's quick. It's going bad. Which means he must slowly we vibrate we'll, from we'll left get, to right. We're going to get a pretzel for everybody here. Oh, here we go. Pretzel day. There you go. There you go. So what do you think? Let's do it. What's up first? The good? The good. The good. So let's do the good. Winston is not in the uh, in the first wave. I think he's part of These wave two. These pretzels are delicious. That's one good. All right. I'm trying to wolf this down. It's the it's the bigger salt mm -hmm. that does it for I you. I think it's the, the pretzel design that they really nail it up. The, right. the this, joints are stiff. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna jump right to my favorite part, and I gotta say. Is the build a figure? Right. It, it not the build a figure. Wait, it's the build a building. It's these extra pieces, <laughs> and then right. wait, we got two pieces really with yeah. Vigo. So I mean, there's there's our extra accessories for Vigo. You actually yeah. get two pieces. This is <laughs> you can't put him near Lewis. He just keeps hitting stuff. Um, it's like he's messing with you. Exactly. Um, I have to say that I love the fact that you're actually if you get all of these and you open it, you're gonna build the front facade. Yeah. Of the Ghostbusters headquarters, the firehouse, and I think that's great, and I, I think that's probably it, it, it's uh, something's going on. Yeah, it's it's weird. I think it literally vibrates. Yeah, and then it moves just a little bit each time. Um, so this I, I gotta is your, say this, this is your good. And my my little extra thing to the good is the wires that come out and go to different parts. The streams. The, no, 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 not the streams. Oh, These, so the detail, the cords. The, the, detail the cords. That that's my good. It, I, I, it adds that extra don't, don't crazy. Don't my good. It, it, it adds that extra. It adds that extra craziness to it that I really. Um, I'm really starting to enjoy. I, I don't own any of these actually, so this is kind of neat to see these all laid out. And I played with uh, Ray here, not the Santa Ray, the other Ray, because we were taking some pictures, yeah. doing some stuff on the Instagram, and. Uh, you know, I gotta say that uh, I, they're great. The details yeah, my, are amazing. That, that's it for me. I think the good, it, you know, is the details. I mean, the packs just alone. If you just, you know, take a look at the pack itself. Hold on. That was gonna be my good. You stole my good. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. You still have your team followers. <laughs> uh, yeah, just you do it. Let's give Ray some. Let's give Ray a stance. Something out. Ray, <laughs> st Ray stance. Look at that. Thank you. You, you fell into that joke. Um. Yeah, it's it's all the details. It's the elbow pads. It's the I mean they even have the they even have the correct Alice frame on on the Look the at pads. you dropping military terms. What do you want me to do? I, right. I I've I've maybe started customizing one and then stopped because it was way out of my depth. Right. <laughs> um, you know, you've got you've just got so much in this and again, where at twenty five I mean, even you can tell Diamond Select has a love for this brand. Because even Marvel, which is their other big yeah, Diamond yeah, Select yeah. brand, does not get as much love as these do. The accessories are unbelievable, the the build a figure pieces are unbelievable, they're the same price as the Marvel. And they, they you know, they knock me away. And they do really cool characters, like the Vigo Ray. Mm -hmm. uh, in the last, coming soon. At the the last, you got the Library Ghost. You got a yeah. Terror Doll. Oh, I used to know her name. Ooh, wow, good for Ooh, you. That's, that's a even, good. That's uh, a good trivia. That, that'll even beat me. That's a good trivia uh, question. You even got the Taxi Ghost. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, that's a good you one too. They, they give you really kind of Ghostbuster centric toys, and now with you know with Lewis finally joining the team. Yeah, I'm wait. I'm I'm like I'm Jones in for the rest of this. Will line. we get a accountant business, Lewis? I don't I don't think we will, but I'd love him. And I know because they're going to cut this one. I think down from tw well, it's fifteen. So you're going to get eleven normal figures, mm -hmm. and then you're going to get four real Ghostbuster figures. Okay, which those are the, the I'm, ones. I was not a fan of the cartoon, but when I saw that Diamond was yeah. doing those, I was like. Oh, those are neat. Yeah, oh, they are those really, are. really short. Will they do the helicopter? No. You know what? And I can do Ecto-2? No, I would love to see Ecto-2. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, Give they're going to do the how helicopter. How about this? Give me Ecto-1 or Ecto-1A, 
and I'll be happy. Give me the helicopter, and I, I die happy. I'm just, uh, I could just go home. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. have one more good to add. Just, they gave him the Santa hat, man. The, San- yeah. the Santa, yeah, and hat it comes off. So you know, cool. you're, you yeah. can think about it. If do they all come with a Santa hat for that one? That oh, they one have to. Quick shot. They have. You to. can put these out at Christmas. Yeah. You could take the other Ghostbusters, put them away for the season, the, and say, "I got the Ghostbuster Santa hats." There, out. there, there are two accessories that I'm dying for in this line, and that is the uh, the slime. I mean, first of all, the slime throwers already look amazing. The blowers, whatever you want. Yeah. To call them. Oh yeah. We we posted pictures but of that. On the the group. The extension rod, so when they dangle Ray uh, underneath into okay. the into the subway or whatever you want to call it, right. um, and it, it comes down and it mm-hmm. scoops the oh, yeah, the, the yeah. slime. I would love that. Okay, well, since you just went there, could you see one getting the Ghostbusters in their let's say um, underground sewer garb? The three. Oh, the raincoats. The raincoats. Wow, and I, I'd buy it. Could you get? The River of Slime. So you get the whole play set. You get those three guys, and then you get the River of Slime. And may- maybe you throw in a, uh, a Peter in the dinner suit with uh, Dana in the dinner suit. I think you give me that in, in, in a big kind of diamond select uh, package. Mm-hmm. You know, 150 Com- bucks. Comic-Con ex- exclusive? Com- you know, 150 bucks all day. I, you know, I, I, I'd buy that nonstop. So, um, do, you have any, well, do you have any bads? Anyway. Um, I think the, the joints. I think the oh. joints are a little tough. I think, uh, and this is just there's nothing you could do about this anyway. But the glasses look real dopey. You know, well, I think glasses are tough on the, any exactly. character. They're, 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 there's always tough there's because no it's, great it's neither they're that. they're already like into the face and they're not really its own thing. Or uh, I had a Doctor Who figure by Underground Toys that actually had the 3D glasses. You couldn't even take them off. So you're like, okay, so that's permanently apart, but. He does take the glasses off. So yeah. then I remember some old G.I. Joes that had little things that would you'd pla- uh, attach them into the character and they would slide into the side. Eventually that just fell off. Yeah, that's the, off, you, you know, know and, 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 and again, we're, we're nitpicking here because these are really, I again, because you have to. The, the stream itself, it, I don't know if there's really a way to do it to make it more balanced when it comes off of it, but it seems to fall under. Well, I, I think I think we also have the wrong hands. So you get yeah. the right hands uh, in yeah. there, okay. and it's properly supported. Yeah. Uh, I've seen them; they, they hold up pretty well. Okay. I think you know, realistically, again, I just can't stress enough: at twenty-five dollars, you are never gonna beat this line. I mean, Diamond Select, great company, with knowing everything that they make. Bob, is there any other? You know, not not for the accessories and the details that you get for that backpack. I mean, we just did uh, we did what two Thanoses in the last month or so, last thirty yeah. days, and as great as those figures are, you get a glove. You get a glove. I mean, we have we have the glove right here. Yeah. Um, there's so much detail. There's so many wrinkles into the uniform. You can tell that it's worn. We have another shirt underneath. We have. Arm pads that are rubber that can move. We've got belts. We've yeah, got okay. a I mean, pouch for the walkie-talkie. We have a Santa hat that comes off. It's not a whole separate head, which, why do you want that sometimes anyway? We, if the hat fits, boom, done. Um, this The backpack alone, and, and this is a thing that Hasbro would have done. That backpack would have been attached. It wouldn't oh, have been yeah. separate. This is loose. I mean, you could get it off there if you really wanted to push it. But it, it's loose, and it feels like it's a whole separate thing. <laughs> or you would have gotten an action figure that would have had, uh, you know, you would have had to get a two-pack, and then you would have gotten, you know, one figure, and then you would have gotten this giant backpack on the back that was super detailed and shot a rocket or something. This is the whole figure, everything that you want for Lewis Tully or for Christmas Ray or even for Vigo. Though I think our biggest complaint was the painting. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, we got two pieces of the of the of the firehouse and two. Lo- I mean, this is the base, the you know the right side yeah. of it. And then we're looking at and this. Guess, well, these two came together like three figures, four pieces. And I don't even and all these extra plastic, which I think so you can connect upwards. Yeah, well, there's we have the whole, we have these pieces here in the back. They're yeah. probably joints that help you help interlock. You, yeah, to how many that. hands did Lewis come with? Lewis came with uh, two two sets of gloves and another set of uh, plain hands. So overall, he had four sets of hands, but yeah. three that are in the pack, two that are on him. All right, so we got a lot of comments. Yeah, let's Oof. do the comments. 
All right, uh, let's see. Pretzel unboxing. Uh, where's Winston? What time is it? It's pretzel time. That's great. Uh, on a mountain of skulls in a castle of pain, I sat on a throne of blood. <laughs> what was will be, what is will be no more. Now is the season of evil. Great wow. one from Rick. Uh, those pretzels are making me thirsty. They're actually I'm now on all the salt, and I'm like, oh man, I should have brought had, water. You I had one line. I had, I had one pretzel, uh, but I got the bug. I got the bug. Uh, you boys got to get some <laughs> melted chocolate and dip those pretzels like oh, royalty. Oh wow! Mm. We uh, could stink Palm Evan. He wouldn't even know what that is. No, he'd have no idea what a stink Palm is. <laughs> we could stink Palm Evan. Never. <laughs> I'm, I'm most excited for the real Ghostbusters figures more than the GB2 ones. That's I, I think because we've had well, you you we've, we've got, had those so many times in different variations. Other now we're going to get Kenner. You have yeah, no real Ghostbusters. Gonna, I mean, their joints are amazing. Yeah. Like, we're looking at them, and I'm not that big of a fan of the cartoon. And I'm like, ooh, those are great. Okay, I've been corrected. It's not actually four real Ghostbusters. It's six because you're going to get Slimer and. Stay Puft. Ooh. So that's amazing. I did not know that. Uh, Matthew, I agree. I like the real Ghostbusters. I wish Super 7 had yeah. the rights to Ghostbusters so they can make their style of figures and maybe in scale and in scale Ecto-1 and a River of Slime playset would be pretty epic and make sense for the type of very playable figure. Uh, I don't think Diamond Select is going to give up this this uh, I'm, I'm, I'm running through my head trying soon. to figure out what Super 7 has right now. They have a lot of He-Man. Mortal Kombat. Uh, Mortal Kombat. But I'm thinking, like, in terms of movies, they have Fox. <coughs> they have Planet of the Apes. They have the Universal contract. That This is Sony, so yeah. I, I don't know if that's going to happen. But I would like to see them in the Super 7 yeah. style. I think you could have a lot of uh, 80s... Well, fun with that. With but, with the licensing brands, these are six inch, so maybe right. they maybe they could get the license to do a smaller. How about this? Instead of uh, I, Super Seven, has a lot of the figures in the Star Wars style with just the, you know, this the straight joints that go up like this, and they sit and the legs come straight out. What if they do Super Seven does Ghostbusters, but in GI Joe style? Okay, with like the swivel arm battle grip okay. and the the hole in the back with the little plastic. I could backpack. see that. I could see that. Yeah. And that would be crazy because I think that's Super Seven brings it up to where it should have been. And they're going to take that time. the colors and yeah, really stay yeah. to your childhood in a way. Yeah. So uh, Raul said, "There's a Diamond Marshmallow Man." So it looks like there is coming out one. Maddie Select did the epic Marshmallow Man, yeah. the one that I had in my top ten Ghostbusters. It had a yellowing problem, but it's yeah. you know about this big. Yeah. Maybe one day I'll actually bring it in. Uh, Paul, there was a diamond Stay Puft bank and a few decos, and there was a oh, Stay yeah. Puft in the figure line. Yeah, the up. diamond bank. Yeah, that was a big bank. Uh, thanks, Matt. Raul. <laughs> Rick goes, you're Paul now. We're, <laughs> Matt says, we're all Paul now. And then Team Paul. Who's Team Paul? Team, well, that's now Raul's been renamed Paul. And oh, now, okay. Uh, Raul gave a smiley face, and Matt says Super Seven has RoboCop and a bunch wow, of other nice. cult movies from the eighties and nineties that I yeah. can't recall. The loyal subjects, you you beat me to it, Matt. Okay, if you want, we're in New Jersey. Come on in for an episode, okay? <laughs> but the loyal subjects are oh, my favorite. I love the blind boxes. I don't know why they don't love it. You know, they're all pretentious oh, I like, I like Star Wars. I want to. I hey, want to know what hey, I'm whoa. buying. Team loyal I subject. Hey, I'm buying. hey, I have two Dragon Ball Z loyal subjects. Yeah, well, I have you're none. a weirdo. Um, How is that weird? And so they are doing Ghostbusters removable packs, chase figures. Because now, like I've stayed out of. <laughs> if, if you're a loyal subjects fan, they've got the gold. They've got the... Just stop it. I'm, I'm not even paying attention to you guys. They've got the Club 28, and then they release prototypes. This is a, you know, $1,000. I'm all about the them. prototype odd uh, weird, the chance of it. But I like knowing exactly what I'm buying when oh, I go to I hate, figure. I hate the premise of buying the boxes yeah. and opening it. But, you know, that's the... I'm the guy who's going to get the same figure four times. No, what I, I do is... That. I buy a case in the beginning because mm -hmm. that fills you out pretty well. You okay. normally get right. like one chase. And then I'll just get on the forums and then, you know, you pick up the rest of them for two or three times retail. Um, that's how I got my – I have the, the TMNT line one and two series. Okay. But I'm, 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 okay. I'm super excited. So, okay, 
Diamond Select. Okay, uh, do we, we did do we did the bad. Is there anything? No. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Ooh. Diamond Select, you rule. Yeah, okay, these are great. Yeah, this is great. We can't wait. Uh, Ghostbuster Day. We're gonna build the whole diorama rooftop. We can't wait to build the rest of the uh, front facade. We we may have it here to tell you the truth. What? The 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 facade. We may have it here. What do you mean, man? I'll show it to you. I'll show you what I think. What we have here is loose in a box, and I think that may be it. Oh no! You've got you're talking about the diary. You're talking about the rooftop. Yeah. yeah, we have a lot of the rooftop pieces. Oh, not here. all of it though. No. Oh, I thought we've we got eighty percent of it. Well, we, um, we got to build that thing. <laughs> okay, Matt says if you got room for me on June eighth, count me in. All right, well then you email Evan. We'll get you our address. Message, you're message in. me on Facebook. For we could use extra help because that's going to be a, a, a hell of a build. So Ghostbusters. Let's, you know, yeah. we're going to do our usual. Yeah. I have one more question. Go ahead. So these are 25. The Mezco's for four at 300. That makes them each about 75 each. Mm -hmm. Do you think the Mezco will be three times the quality of these? Yes. Yes, because you're talking about cloth. Any, any more? Or you think it'll be... It's it, it's going to be tough. It, it's like having a great steak and a great hamburger. They're two yeah, totally different categories. They're, they're different beasts. Of figures. To, like... These are these are like action figures, but they're still collectibles. Yeah, the, they're on a, a higher yeah. scale. Do you play with these ones? You don't play with Mezco. No, I, I, we've played with the Mezcos. I mean, like we've no, but done they say not to play with. Now them. they do. Yeah, <laughs> but the, yeah, it's it's a whole. It's like comparing a Mezco to a sideshow. Yeah, you know, it's like going the Old Navy and then going to Banana Republic. You know, it's in the same wheelhouse, but it's a totally different okay. scale of what things you're looking at. All right, so. Wrap up on Diamond Select. The big question that I have is, and we've asked them and not gotten an answer yet, is what happens to the non-diorama piece Ghostbuster line that was carried in Toys R Us? Because they're never going to get them out in time. You know that they're already in production. I, I think it's, it's, it's Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon. It, it may just go straight to Amazon. And that kills me because I, I, there was, I almost get choked up. Going in the Toys R Us, it gave me, because there's not a lot of new stuff that I buy at Toys R Us. That was the one thing that was driving me to Toys R Us every few months to go and try to get, and then you get one or two, or right. you'll see the video of End of the Wild where I had to trick Paul so he right. wouldn't grab the ones that I wanted. Episode three. So I, yeah, I think three. that's the one that hurts me, um, hurts me the most about this. Okay. But now we'll just talk about Ghostbusters in general. Um, Sony's pushing forward with a animated movie now, um, which is called Ghost Corpse. So you're going to get some type of updated riff off of like where they opened up franchises, mm -hmm. from what I can see. Um, Did we see I, any hip, any of the animation style or anything? Yet? No, you've seen nothing yet. Um, Just that I, Ivan Reitman is behind it. They're working. Uh, they're okay. working on it. Um, I'm sure they can probably get Bill Murray to come back and do his voice. You know they're going to get um, Ernie Hudson and, and Dan, Dan Aykroyd, Aykroyd for yeah. sure. Yeah. They'll get Sigourney Weaver. They'll, you know, maybe yeah. Rick well, Moranis still does voice stuff. Yeah. So well, voiceover work isn't a lot of work. You show up to work in your pajamas, as we always hear, and uh, you know they could probably crank out the movie in a week or something. Yeah, acting wise, you know the animation is a whole different thing. But then you got to do sync and ADR, so yeah. it's not as much work. So. How you know I mean, we got well, the do limit it. of what you could do with animation and your yeah. budget is totally different. So we got I gotta ask, how do we you know how do we feel about uh, Ghostbusters 2015? Was it 16? I actually reviewed it on the site. Okay, uh, I think it should still be up somewhere. Okay. And uh, I I thought every time the girls did their own thing, it was a fun movie. But the second that they had to go, oh look, it's Bill Murray. Oh, look, it's Dan Aykroyd. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm reminded of the fact that there was another movie instead of just seeing this original thing. I and think where they really messed we up. We kind of retread was in, at the and, end. And, and even the actor said it in the trailer where they said 20 years later yeah. and referenced like it was in the same it world. Shouldn't have. I think that that really killed it. Uh, Matthew cleared something up for me. It's, it's Ghostbusters Core. Core. Not Corpse. Corpse. Core. Yeah. 
Go it's, for the corpse. Yeah. Guys. I thought guys, it was... Oh, a, he doesn't say things was right. A, I thought it was like a dead person. So did I. I thought it was like a ghost of zombies or something. How was or, I supposed to know you were doing that? A gaggle your... of zombies. Just assume that if I say something, I'm saying it wrong. I think... I heard a fan theory once, and I and unfortunately Ghostbusters 2015 or whatever met with such a harsh hatred um, that this wouldn't happen. But I thought this was a great fan theory was that... The, the original Ghostbusters and Sigourney Weaver, they were all, their minds were wiped by Zool and they were, they were put that, into this different is my, This is my theory. Is that your theory? Well, this I didn't know theory. you at the time, so. You are a fan and it's a fan And theory. it's one of those things that would have been great that they had to, you know, awaken in them all the things that they were. I am going to write it up for the site uh, along with your everything pitch? else that I'm going to uh, do. Your pitch. I'm going to do the whole thing, Zool's sister, the whole thing, but... I'm telling you, it makes the movie so much better. And Rick, we know. You hated it. We got it, bro. All right? Give it some love. It is still Ghostbusters. Um, yes, Calvin, Ghostbusters Extreme. I actually told Bob today that he should check that out. Um, or at least the Back in the Saddle Part 1 and 2. All right. So, wrapping up, last thing. Bob's actually wearing a Ghostbusters video game shirt. So, if you've not played the video game and you love Ghostbusters... Just go on YouTube and watch the game straight through because it is essentially yeah, cool. the, yeah. the third movie. I forgot it, that millennial stuff that you can do now and, you know, requires no effort just for you to click a button oh yeah. and then you watch That's it. That's the way Evan loves it. Mm-hmm. Very little effort, just getting by. Yeah. Minimal. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. There's to, an advantage to all, be doing all, that, but it's not. All of his Marvel, uh, <laughs> all of his, all of his Marvel <laughs> Infinity homework has been watching YouTube clips of comics explained to him. Yeah, you know, instead no, of I've just, been, re- instead been reading, of just reading the Bagai, oh, yeah, sure. I'm reading the Infinity uh, Infinity storyline right now. Matt, which is like um, 800 pages. Uh, you, don't worry. Uh, uh, like Saturday afternoon. Every, yeah. I, I get know. corrected all day long. You're not the nerdy guy in the corner. Uh, <laughs> and Calvin says you're you're a great help. You really you're like our go to on the internet guy. You're the yeah. you're the because I don't want to call him Oracle because that's a girl. No, well I knew yeah. a, I knew a male Oracle. He was a he Jarvis. Was, yeah, he was be Jarvis. Jarvis. You he, could be our he was Jarvis. A US Army's Ranger, and he was called. What was well, in uh, in Spider-Man: Homecoming? What does Ned say that he's going to be? He's going to be the guy in the, the guy in the van. The guy in the van. Guy yeah, in the van. The guy in the van. The guy in the van. Uh, Bob liked. I'm watching. <laughs> Bob like Rick says Bob liked Ghostbusters. Answer the call. Call, but won't watch Justice League. I feel like there's some injustice there. No, no. Um, sorry. If I if I lose the Infinity War uh, contest we're having, check that out on the site. Yep. Yeah, is it um, up yet? Um, YouTube. It will be up later today. Check I, it that's out. The Dude, that's after, the video. That's the video. After we, two live streams, I haven't had the yeah, time to edit. It. We we fill out our Infinity War pool and give you an update because whoever loses the pool out of the four of us is going to do something incredibly horrible. And right. Bob's incredibly horrible thing is to watch Justice League. I, I may just watch it at work with a live stream of me just... Oh we want to try a Facebook I watch party? I actually have a free copy on my... Comp- I have the, the, yeah. the digital code to I, watch I it. But that means I would also have to put that hot pile of garbage onto my voodoo or whatever it is. Movies anywhere You now. You actually don't even want to... <laughs> I don't even want to do that. You don't, even, that's I don't even even do much. that. I don't even want to do that. A friend of mine told me he watched it. And he watched it with his kids, and he said, God, how... He said it was excruciating sitting there with his kids. who were They were even bored, and he was like, well, we, we rented this. I guess we have to watch it all the way through. So uh, Calvin is calling Matt Zordon, which I think is great. Zordon. Uh, That's from Power Rangers. Power Rangers, yeah. yes. Um, okay, so Diamond Select, we love it. Uh, oh, there you go. That's down. Um, yeah, uh, Alien Day didn't go nearly as well as this one. Yeah. Uh, but we did some good giveaways. We had a good good shot with that. Hey, we yeah. had fun. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, you think we're going to be able to bag, uh, get, you know, not bag, but rustle the rest of these out? I hope so. I want to build a firehouse. Yeah, I want. I want to like get on this. I want to build a firehouse. I think. I think if not, I'm just going. I think by chance you may have the door upside down. That this <laughs> door should go over here. Could be. And that's solely based on where the key lock is. Because I mean, I'm look, I'm sitting here looking at it and going. I, I have, I think right? there's little booklets that I didn't yeah. break out. I think this should be over here, but that would mean, see, look how there's a space for the door to open. Yeah, which means it's going to sit on some sort of street for yeah. the front. So one, so. one last thing that we didn't talk about because we talked about Kenner, we talked mm-hmm. about Maddie Select, 
We did not talk about the other line that Diamond Select was doing before they started these figures, which are the mini mates, and right. those are epic. Well, yeah, they can do anybody. I have ev- yeah. I have every single one of them. They did a real Ghostbusters line. I actually have so many of them that I don't have a place to put them in my display, so I keep them just like locked up so that they don't get damaged. Hmm. Those they had Toys R Us exclusives. I, I, you know, Diamond Select. Did they have a car in a, in a firehouse? No, that's that the, stuff? they never did, like, cause you know how they did the Alien yeah. Marines yeah. ship? They never did yeah. anything big APC, like that. Yeah. Oh. But they did a bunch of four packs. Hmm. But really cool, like, you got you got the mayor. You got hmm. a bunch of the ghosts that you'd never see. You got I'm Ready to Believe You, Peter. Okay. Um, you know, you, you got a bunch of really, really cool ones. So let's see. Matt says, I've always wanted to be a giant blurry head in a cylinder of goo. Uh, three <laughs> figures. Ah, you beat us. Again, he's taken all of our good lines. Wow. What did he three say? figures in the box, ready to go. <laughs> uh, we be fast and they be, be slow. slow. And you, you, Matt, wouldn't want our, you wouldn't want us exposing ourselves. So, um, guys, again, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Unless you guys got anything else, uh, guess what? It's Avengers Affinity War yeah, time. Yeah, I know. I'm heading out. Uh, I'm going to meet up with the wife, and I'm going to go. Evan's going to see tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm, so turning, I'm turning off my the, phone as soon as I leave. Team uh, Not Losers are going to go tonight. Yes. Like, like right. the real fans. Right, the real fans. Not um, the people who like, Evan, get a good night's oh, sleep. Oh, I don't want to be with crowds, oh, and I have to sleep. No, I have to smell oh, nerd stink as I'm watching a movie. Can I? Can I? Oh, what are you going to do? You can't even have snacks. Oh, no. What do you do? He kisses in, he's um, fasting so, yeah. intermediately. So, um, oh, my God. So the reason why I'm not going to the later showings is, one, Max fell asleep during Last Jedi because it was so you late. You could go without her. No. Why not? Um, There's a 7 o'clock. Your That's different. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> There's a so, 7 o'clock. I couldn't get tickets for it. <gasps> you could not go in New Jersey. There's other uh, Where your theater is, other places to go. Oh I wanted to God. go to my theater. I live near a 24 and a 15. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it'll be on at least I'm half going of to the a 12 on each one. I'm going to a 12. Right. But I'm seeing it in RPX 3D. I'm taking my son out of school. Uh, Hainesport Elementary didn't hear that. <laughs> um, <laughs> By the time he gets this up. Yeah. Uh, taking him out of school. We're going. Um, I have to give him the whole, hey, buddy, you know. Yeah, don't cry. Don't get else. upset, but some see. people might not, you know. Right. Remember, they're just not actors. make it. It's just, it's all a, they'll be back. It's all make believe. You know? If I'm crying, that means you, you yeah, have to Yeah, what's going to happen? Me. How do I tell my son not to be upset? <laughs> when I'm going to cry like don't two know times. That. I'm just saying it. One, yeah, please. <laughs> we'll have to kick you off the group. Um, I'm going to cry at least twice. Yeah. 100%. When Chris Evans, because you know Captain America, you know. I don't know. He's taking the X. See, I mean, if we're going to have something that's going to resolve Tony and Steve's relationship or something, and then one of them die, or that, that one of them dies and that never gets resolved. Like or, in here's, Captain here's what I'm thinking. Captain America, you know, maybe takes the bullet for Tony. Mm-hmm. In a, like, a, hey, bud, still yeah. love you. Yeah. You know, I'm not part of the jumps science on, jumps bro. On the and gr- then, jumps that, on the grenade then we get Bucky Cap in the next movie. I don't think they're. I don't think they're gonna. I, I think we've got a better chance at Anthony uh, Anthony Mackie Cap. Sam Ooh, Wilson, Captain America. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's good. I'd be real happy about wow. that. Wow. All right. Interesting. Anything else? Infinity no, War. No, uh, we will be. Are we doing we're, Monday? We're gonna do a non-spoiler live right on Facebook. We're doing it Monday, not tomorrow. No wait. Monday. Are we doing it tomorrow? No, because he's not gonna be here. We're doing it Monday. Oh. Okay. And you're not gonna wow. be until late. Um. Monday, non-spoiler live. Uh, on Facebook. Best thing, top ten. We're, we're going to together put our best ten things. Yeah. yeah. And then, then we're going to go to YouTube for our millions of uh, subscribers. Right. We are the Matt Pat, shout out to your boy Evan, of action figure reviewers on YouTube. <laughs> we're going to do a spoiler review. So right. we're going, um, you know, all the way to the wall. We're going to discuss it all. Just nerd out as hard as we can. Uh, and then, as a special event for everybody, Evan is going to bring you the top... <laughs> You're not, you can't even wield the gauntlet. Your whole arm would just... Exactly. Um, Evan is going to bring you five reasons why Justice League is better than the Avengers. I know. And we take Imagine such that. pleasure in I, making I, him... I've got one or two. I've got one or two already that I'm just thinking, well, there's less people in the audience. 
I didn't have to smell any nerd stink. I got two of them right there for you. No, but it, see, here's the thing. I give Evan enough credit that if he if he doesn't live in his usual box that he lives in and kind of comes from an outside perspective, he can probably come up with five really clever reasons why Justice League is better. I'm gonna than the I'm Avengers. gonna try, but if it's not really if I can't think of anything, I'm look not at but see that's that the thing you you're didn't, already giving. No, up. I'm saying I'm going to try. You I'll didn't have to best. buy nearly as many cool toys for Justice League as you did for Infinity War. I know that Rick, if he's still watching, is just so upset <laughs> about all this Justice League bashing. Hey, I said I gave five great things about Justice League. Yes, you, you did. did. Only five, though. Okay, <laughs> because I, I, I limited myself to five. God bless the eight of you that are still watching. Yeah, geez. Um, because we're, we're really we're just, strong. We're only in an hour. We're an hour and ten minutes. Left. Wow. Okay. okay. This is insane. Yeah. I mean, you got anything else? We got a gamer con. Yeah, we're going to be... July 7th and 8th. This, oh. week, this weekend we're going to be at uh, yeah. Greater Philadelphia yeah. Con. Good. Greater Philadelphia Con. If you want to come see this, the illustrious two and Evan, um, we'll be there. Yeah, you we know, will be Evan, there. We'll be there Saturday. Evan will be carrying water, uh, snacks... And a camera. And a camera. <laughs> I'll uh, just have the camera. Actually, and I don't know if he's still watching, but shout out Sean Crispin. Mike is going to come through and help us out. Okay. He's going to kind of be Evan, you know, and all of our. He's going to come help. Evan's intern. Ooh, God, Ooh, you never God. want to be. <laughs> never want to be Evan's intern. <laughs> it's um, smelly. It's <laughs> terrible. Uh, what else? So follow us on Instagram. Yes. Please, if you're on YouTube, just subscribe to our channel, okay? Yeah. We're every, bringing all you. Of, all of these live you know, streams will be on YouTube. Yeah, after we're bringing too. you serious content. Um, okay, here we go. We got a couple. Uh, uh, Team Paul says Justice League better than the Avengers. <laughs> um, and oh, the internet's a dark place. JG Styles, <laughs> I'm really curious to see how the movie distributes all of the screen time between all yeah. the cast. Yeah. yeah. And then go Justice League Batman Power. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh man. Yeah. You know. I'm sorry, you know, from, I think we should just let the dollars speak for themselves. Just because they're opening weekend, they're going to crush all of Justice League's run. Um, In all seriousness, if you enjoy Justice League, great. I know I'm not going to enjoy it because I just, I don't think it's possible. Because he hates good things. Yeah, I hate good things. Like Evan. See? I said you're a Thank good Thank you, buddy. I know. You also hate okay. me, which is, which is great. Okay. <laughs> That's it, right? We're yeah, done. we're good. We're, we're, we're bottom out. of the barrel. We're done. Uh, talk to you guys Monday. Yep. Enjoy Avengers. Do not spoil it on the Do page. Not. We don't want to kick you off. We really, really don't. Just don't do it, okay? <laughs> if you please. See, if you see anybody spoiling anything, please. Yes, report, 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 yes. Report, report. The second it happens, report it. They're going to get bounced. I don't care if you think you're being funny. You're not coming back in, okay? Yeah. And, you know... There's just there's 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 no ifs ands or buts about it. These All kids right? got guts. Anyway, That's it. The broadcast is ended. See you later. <laughs>